Hello and welcome back to Step by Step Guitar Tuition .com. This is the seventh lesson in the Step 3 module and in this lesson we're going to look at a fingerstyle pattern which is commonly used in country music and it goes something like this. So now I'm going to break that down for you and show you how to do it slowly and then hopefully at the end of the lesson you'll understand how to put it all together. The chords that I'm using are A minor, D minor and E minor. Let's begin by looking at the thumb technique. Firstly form an A minor chord and start by plucking the fifth string with your thumb followed by the fourth string then the 6th string and the 4th string again and repeat 5th, 4th, 6th, 4th 5th, 4th, 6th, 4th Practice it slowly and evenly until you feel comfortable and it's important to keep the duration of the notes equal so we'll try that again 5th, 4th, 6th, 4th 5th, 4th, 6th, 4th once you're sure that you have that, in between the second and third plucks, play the third string with your first finger, finger one, like this. Thumb, thumb, one, thumb, 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 one, thumb, thumb, again. The note that you're playing with finger one should be on the offbeat, and the notes that you're playing with your thumb should be on the on beat. So again, thumb, thumb, one, thumb, thumb. Uh, now once that you've got that, try plucking the second string with your second finger, or finger two, in between the third and the fourth beats. Thumb, thumb, one, thumb, two, thumb. And lastly, once you feel comfortable with that, play the third string again with finger one in between the fourth and the first beats, like this. Thumb, thumb, one, thumb, two, thumb, one, thumb, thumb, one, thumb, two, thumb, one. Keep it going. If you're finding it a struggle to put that together, then go back and start again um, with just the thumb pattern. So this is what we have up to now. I'll play slowly and gradually um, build the speed up. Don't forget, once you feel uh, comfortable with this pattern, practice it with a metronome. Here we go. Slowly and then I'll build up the speed. Thumb, thumb, one, thumb, two, thumb, one, thumb, thumb, one, thumb, two, thumb, one. Now let's try the same pattern, but this time with the D minor chord. Starting with your thumb, pluck the fourth string, followed by the third, followed by the fifth, and then the third again. And repeat: thumb, 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 thumb. Fourth string, third string, fifth, third. Once you have that, in between beats two and three. Play the second string with finger one like this. Thumb, 
thumb, one thumb, 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 one thumb, 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 one thumb, 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 one thumb, thumb. Next, play the first string in between beats three and four with the second finger like this. Thumb, thumb, one, thumb, two, thumb, and again. Thumb, one, thumb, two, thumb. And lastly, in between beats four and one, play the second string again with finger one, like this. Let's try it slowly and gradually build up the speed. Thumb, thumb, one, thumb, two, thumb, one, thumb, thumb, one, thumb, two, thumb, one, and again. Now let's try the same pattern with the E minor chord. This time starting with the thumb, pluck the 6th string, followed by the 4th, the 5th and the 4th. Again, 6, 4, 5, 4, 6, 4, 5, 4, 6, 4, 5, 4. Once you have that, in between beats 2 and 3, play the 3rd string with finger 1. So that's thumb, thumb, finger, thumb, 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 finger, thumb, thumb. Next, play the second string with your second finger in between beats three and four. Thumb, thumb, one, thumb, two, one. Thumb, thumb, one, thumb, two, thumb. Thumb, thumb, one, thumb, two, thumb. Thumb, thumb, one, thumb, two, thumb. Again. Lastly, in between beats 4 and 1, play the 3rd string again with finger 1, like this. Thumb, thumb, 1, thumb, 2, thumb, 1, thumb, thumb, 1, thumb, 2, thumb, 1. Let's try it slowly and then build up the speed. Thumb, thumb, 1, thumb, 2, thumb, 1, thumb, thumb, 1, thumb, 2, thumb, 1. Okay, now it's time to put those three patterns together. But if you still don't feel as though you've mastered the three finger patterns, then I'd advise going back and spending a little more time practicing before you continue any further. For those of you who are feeling confident, we'll continue. I'm going to play the A minor pattern twice, followed by the D minor pattern twice, the E minor pattern twice, and then back to the D minor pattern twice. And then I'll start all over again. I'll begin very slowly and then gradually build up the speed. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Four.
back to D minor. And then start again. A little bit faster. D minor. E minor. Back to D minor. And then start again. So hopefully you'll have managed to keep up with that. If not, keep trying because that particular pattern is very versatile and you can hear it used extensively by the likes of Bob Dylan, Simon and Garfunkel, The Eagles, to name just a few. So it really is worth the extra effort. Later in the step-by-step -step syllabus we'll come back to that pattern and I'll show you how you can embellish it using different chords and bass runs. You can find the patterns that we've looked at today in the notes that accompany this lesson. I look forward to seeing you in lesson 8 where I'll teach you how to name some more notes on the guitar fingerboard. I'll see you then. Thank mm -hmm. you.